Hey friends, it's Michelle here and I'm back with a quick update on using HTML signatures. Today I'm going to show you how to install an HTML signature in Apple Mail. It's not really as easy as you might think. And yes, because I'm talking about Apple Mail, this really only pertains to the Mac users out there. In a previous post, I showed you how to style an HTML signature, so I will leave a link to that post and video in the description just in case you want to learn more about creating your own signature. But this tutorial is only going to focus on installing HTML that you have ready to go. So as you can see here, I have several windows open. The first thing that we need to do is get into Apple Mail. So you will open your Apple Mail account and we need to go to the signatures. So I am going to come up to this top menu here and hit Mail and then I will select Preferences. And then if you're not already on the Signatures tab, I've opened it several times before, you'll just come up to this top tab over here that says Signatures, and then I'm going to select the account that I want to use, and I'm gonna add a new signature. So I'm just gonna write some placeholder text here, and then I'm also gonna give my signature a name. I'm gonna call this one Bogus Signature. That all looks good. So that's all I have to do for right now. The most important step next is to shut this window and then completely shut Apple Mail. You could close the window, but you wanna do more than close that. Make sure you are quitting the program or this isn't gonna work for you. So I'm gonna hit X. I'm gonna come down to my window here and we are going to quit the program which you probably can't see at the bottom of the window. So the next step is to find the actual signature file. So I have a finder window open here. And so when I click on that, that sort of activates my menu up here. I wanna to go to the Go menu up top. Then I am going to select Library. So that is going to open my little library window. And then I need to find the Mail folder. So I'm just gonna scroll a bit. And then here I have the Mail folder. So depending on what version of Mac OS you're running, I'm on Big Sur, this might have a different number. Mine says V8, yours might have a lower number than that if you are on a previous OS version. Not to worry, they should all have the same contents. So whatever the latest and greatest number that you have, choose that. I'm gonna come over to Mail Data, and then I'm gonna scroll a bit, and I'm gonna look for the Signatures folder. So in my signatures folder, I have one signature up top. And if you're not sure if that's the signature that you're looking for, you can usually tell when it was created. So it'll have some information right there about when it was created. This one was created today. So I know that this is the signature that I just made in Apple Mail. What I wanna do now is open this file. To open this file, I'm gonna right click it. I am going to choose the option open with and I'm gonna open with text edit. So I will choose that. You're gonna see a bunch of code here. This is actually HTML code. And if you can see right here, that little placeholder text where I typed in earlier is right there. So all I need to do is paste over this text with the HTML text that I want to use. And I'm only gonna use up to the beginning body tag and the ending body tag. So I have this HTML from my previous post. If you are curious to what this looks like, I'll give you a little bit of a reminder. So this is the signature that I created. I'll go ahead and minimize that. I'm just gonna come here and copy this from the beginning body tag to the ending body tag. I'm going to right click copy, or you could do command C, that works too. And I'm gonna come back to my signature window and paste right here. So I'm just gonna do Command V to paste that. And I think that is looking good. So I'm going to do Command S to save. You could also do File Save. And so I'm going to click this top bar right here. And I am going to check this little box that says Locked. And the reason I wanna do that is because if I don't do that, Apple can overwrite this file and I don't want that. This doesn't mean that I can't continue to edit it, it just means I don't want it to be overwritten by Apple. So that's another important step to take note of. That is really all there is to installing it. So we need to check our work now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this file and I'll minimize this window. We don't really need this guy either. So I'm gonna open Apple Mail again. So here is my Apple Mail, and this is really the moment of truth. 
if I create a new email, I should see my signature. So let's see if it worked. And there it is. So I can see that my bogus signature is right there. I do wanna quickly point out one thing. If we go back to the preferences and look at the signature, you cannot see the images. They're still there, but they're just not here to be seen in the editing box, so don't freak out. And if you wanted to update any text here, let's say we needed to change something really quickly, you could still edit it because when I close this out and compose a new email, those updates are going to be reflected there. So don't think that you can't edit the text, but if you want to initially install this HTML email signature, you're going to have to go through this process. So that's really all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, I would love for you to subscribe and I would really appreciate the support. If you have any topics that you'd like to see, let me know and I might film a tutorial on it. I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.